Welcome back. Uh, let's look at how to develop both linear and quadratic time series forecast. Uh, let's start with this set of data. And of course, uh, even suspect that a linear or quadratic might be an appropriate uh, forecasting method, we need to look at the data. And so if we look at the data here, we can see that it does look like it has a, a linear relationship between time and the response y. Uh, so let's uh, develop that forecast. One of the, the quickest and easiest ways to develop a, a linear forecast once we have this uh, scatter plot is if you select one of those data points with the left mouse, right mouse, add trend line. It brings up a series of options such as linear, or exponential, polynomial, which will move you know, use for the quadratic, power different types of trends, uh, and then we can also have it display the equation on the chart. And then as you, you look at it with what you've selected, it will show the, the fit of that uh, to the data. So it looks like the linear is a good fit, so I just click close and now here is that equation on our chart and so we can see both the intercept and the slope uh, for this uh, linear trend equation. If I just copy those values for the, the intercept and the slope, intercept is 119.71, uh, slope is a minus 4.9286 and then we could uh, we could also predict uh, using this intercept and slope so for example with the data we already have it'd be equals intercept and we'd want to fix that reference with the F4 uh, plus the slope again F4 times and then the, uh, the X part of this would be the, the time uh, series or the time period uh, 1 in this first case. And so that would be the, uh, our, our forecast for time period 1 using this intercept and slope. And if I just uh, extend it down, uh, then we can uh, see how well that fit the, uh, the forecast uh, by looking at a and a line chart. And so you can see the blue, the original forecast, and the red, our, our fitted model. We could also uh, use a function to pull out the slope and intercept. It would be equals slope. And then notice it asks for known y's and known x's. So these would be our known y's. Uh, and then a, a comma and then our known x's. So notice our known y's, so it's column C, that's our what we're trying to predict. Known x is what we're using to predict, in this case time, column B. And so you see the slope is the uh, the same as, as what we calculated from fitting the, the model. Intercept equals intercept. Again known y's, known x's, known y's comma, known x's, uh, right parentheses, uh, and intercept. Let's look at one more method that we could use. Uh, there's an Excel function called equals forecast. Forecast allows for an, an unknown x and then known y's, known x's, and so if we're trying to predict so the, use this model for the first time period 1, x would be b5. Known y's, again, what we're trying to predict here, and I'll use the f4 to uh, make that a fixed reference, comma, known x's, all the time periods, again f4, right parenthesis, and then just copy that down. And so there's there's several uh, ways that we can uh, fit a linear trend line to data 
in Excel. So from the, the chart to calculating slope and intercept, if you think linear is appropriate, to using the forecast function. Uh, next time we'll look at the uh, quadratic example. See you then.